guys welcome back to my channel so today is part two of the Pat McGrath series that I've been filming um, and it's just like a follow-up review about Pat McGrath so let's go ahead and get started I had about one to two weeks of you know just playing with Pat McGrath eyeshadows and I've got some thoughts some concerns if you guys haven't seen part one of this video I'll link it up here in the cards or in the description below or at the end of this video so that you guys can go back and watch it my first impressions kind of initial research about Pat McGrath is in that video and this video is more of like a follow-up review I've used almost 90% of the eyeshadows in that palette and yeah I have some thoughts and opinions about it so this is the Pat McGrath eyeshadow and as you can see I've used a lot of the eyeshadows already the palette is not as clean as the first time you guys saw me use this I mean it's not because there's a lot of fallout or anything it's just I go heavy on the shadows and I work fast I'm always in a hurry so I think that's why there's a lot of fallout on the palette as i said before the eyeshadows feels pretty dry but when you swatch them they are amazingly creamy and buttery and when you use them on the eyes they perform the exact same way i do have to say there are some exceptions and i'll get to that there's 18 shades there are three mattes and i would have wished for one more matte maybe like a nude or beige kind of color mattes the matte are major mahogany very pigmented venomous void okay venomous void is another dry formula and it actually is a little just a tad bit patchy I have to say you know when you're paying for these eyeshadows you don't want to have any patchiness right you want it made to perfection and then one of the newer eyeshadows in the middle row Venusian Orchid so those are the three mattes I have to say of the three this is the strongest one major mahogany and this one isn't patchy but it lacks pigment um, and it's not super bad but I would have wanted a stronger punch when it comes to the color for this one so there's nine duo chromes in here and I think this is where this palette shines the most all of these duo duochrome eyeshadow has a very strong shift and duochrome um, flip to it is done well i'm really impressed because no matter how i turn my head the duochromes are really there you can definitely see the drama so let's swatch the duochrome shades there's odyssey electron right there i do have a look in this video i'm going to be showing you an electron look that is inspired by pat mcgrath so there's electron right there very nice saturnalia is one of the eyeshadow duochrome shades i did a look on saturnalia it has like kind of like a pink shift to it which is nice galactic gold Oh, I don't think you guys have seen this, but I did use this on my eyes recently. It has like a green shimmer with an orange flip to it. So pretty. I actually used this eyeshadow during my BoxyCharm unboxing. So in case you guys want to see that, it's up here in the cards. Cosmic right here. Corruption is this pretty penny I was telling you about. Oh, so pretty. Violet void oh i have yet to really use violet void smoked amethyst this is the darkest color in the bunch you know i've been using the amethyst a lot but i think the violet void would really pop that purple underneath would really pop and if they both have a purple um undertone but one is deeper for sure last one is dragonfly another pretty color here are the one two three four five six seven eight nine dual chrome shades there are four shimmers in this palette they are lunar champagne right here and 
Pat McGrath, out of all her tutorials, um, she likes to use this as a brow bone highlight. Fuchsia Shock. It's one of the colors that I haven't used, but swatching it, oh, pigmentation is so pretty. And then we have Megabyte. It's this green color. Actually, you know what? On my BoxyCharm eyeshadow look, I use Dragonfly all over my lid and then at the center, the very top middle, I tap Megabyte right on top and it just made the green pop a little bit more. Then the last one is Gold Standard. Oh, definitely the gold in the palette. Right there. And I barely even pressed and it gave it that pigment. So I love that in the inner corners of the eyes. It just really pops, especially for my skin tone. I have it on right now in the inner corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, but definitely a nice, nice gold color. So these are the four shimmers. Then there are two metallic shades in this bunch. Bronze Nebula. This one right there. That's considered metallic. And the other color, bronze, just bronze by itself. And they're both kind of orangey colors, actually, surprisingly enough. These are the two metallic shades. It wasn't until I looked at the colors and I thought these shades are exactly the same. On the Pat McGrath website, it describes Bronze Nebula as a golden bronze, as opposed to the bronze color is just bronze. I would have liked a different color because I don't need two colors that are super similar. Very pretty, very glitzy and shiny. So those are the 18 shades from Pat McGrath's Celestial Divinity Palette, broken down into duochromes mattes, shimmers, and metallics. So that's more of a close-up. Some of my favorites are the Saturnalia, and I love the red punch. I like the Violet Void. I love the Gold Standard. Electron, Smoked Amethyst, Dragonfly, and Corruption. Some of the concerns that I have. The color Megabyte is a little crumbly, so when I pick it up, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little crumbly. So you really have to blend, you really have to tap out the eyeshadows a little bit more, but it performs really well. So you're just gonna experience a little bit of fallout when you do apply it because it's crumbly. Electron eyeshadow is also a little crumbly. So it's a little crumbly and it needs extra help, guys, sticking to the eyes. I think it works best using your fingers. Venusian Orchid was the matte and I did mention that before. It's not as pigmented as I'd hoped. You definitely have to build up this color a little bit more. It's not bad bad, you know, but at first pass, you just dip it one time, it's not gonna give you that, oh, this is Pat McGrath eyeshadow, like really full pigment, you know? So that's the only one that I feel like you have to really build up a lot before you get the pigment and the color that you want. The other concern that I have is Dragonfly, and it's really more not on the pigment, but how it looks on the pants. This is Dragonfly right here, and I don't know if it's showing on the pan, but it looks pretty empty. I mean, I think if I use this a couple more times, it looks like it's gonna be all gone <laughs> pretty soon, and I'm gonna hit pan. So that's the only concern that I have, but otherwise it is beautiful right look at that dragonfly i mean it's very reflective on the eyes it has that very strong duo chrome ship i mean it performs amazing i just hope that i have you know that 1.1 gram per pan amount in here because i am definitely going to get a lot of use out of that eyeshadow it just doesn't look as full as all the other eyeshadows in the pan it looks like i'm about to hit pan that's all so that's my only concern just these four colors right here megabyte electron dragonfly and venusian orchid so 
they're not like big big problematic eyeshadows but it's pat mcgrath and if i pay that much it better be perfect right <laughs> so those are my thoughts in case you're wondering pat mcgrath is cruelty free that's definitely a plus it's not vegan though so i'm going to show you guys two different eye looks you'd like to see more pat mcgrath tutorials i can do a part three of this pat mcgrath series for sure um, but otherwise let's go ahead on to the tutorials <laughs> about this eyeshadow palette is that you shouldn't be intimidated by the fact that it's all shimmer or glitter or duochromes because depending on how the light hits it it would really take on a different look so you might think oh this is too shimmery it can't be on the crease but it can be so don't just look at the pan and be like i can't use this on a day-to-day -day basis and that's really not the case it's a very versatile palette and not to mention i've actually used um lunar champagne not only as a brow bone highlight but also as a highlighter so a lot of these can definitely double up as a fun highlighter i just love how multi-dimensional these shades are and when you think they're not going to perform as a matte they actually can there are a lot of options for a natural look here that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there so definitely check it out let me know if you guys have any questions about pat mcgrath about the eyeshadows and maybe i can answer them for you on a third video with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye I wanted to give a quick shout out to Jackie Naturals because we've been drooling over this palette for so long and we've been talking about it, we've been chatting about it and so she's gonna have her own review at her channel coming up soon. So don't forget to check her out.